Come on, Hal, we haven't messed up yet. Let's just not this time. You gotta trust me. I can't believe you don't trust me. It's not that I, I don't trust- I wouldn't take any chances. Come on, just for a minute. Oh, God. What's with the oh, God? I hate that oh, God thing you do. I'm sorry, it's just- What is it? You don't love me? If you don't love me, tell me. I just don't feel like it's safe. So you think I'm, I'm that stupid? I never said you were stupid. Why do you make me work so hard all the time? I'm sorry. I, I don't mean to. It's just... What then? I'm sorry. Wake up, darling. It's just you and me. Everything feels right, just like it's meant to be. Let's live up the morning, spend the afternoon Cause we can't take it with the sand Tomorrow comes too soon And every single way Today is the perfect day For a perfect day Let's go on an adventure Look into each other's eyes Stop the hands of time, the world from spinning round. Keep the moon from coming up, the sun from going down. And every single way. Today is the perfect day for a perfect day. Today is the perfect day for a perfect day. Allison? Allison? Hmm? Done with your paperwork? Uh, see, um, I, I wasn't sure what to put here about the father. Just put a line through, it doesn't matter. Um, I just don't want anyone. I mean, it's, it's not like I don't know who it is. We're actually planning on having a family. Just leave it blank, it doesn't matter. Girl, leave it blank. See me? I always leave you blank. If he ain't here with you, he's a blank. They all blank, so you might as well just go on and go blank. Or you can write something more colorful, that's it. You know what, you write what you want to write, because it's totally up to you. I'm just saying, if he ain't man enough to be here with you, he deserve it, don't he? Or no? Yeah, I'll just leave it blank. Okay. You intend to pay cash? 
Oh, yeah, um, I have her right here. She's a first-timer, Miss Glow. Girl, you ain't got to pay. Tell her. Here, let me just give you this. And you hold on to this, and I'll let you know. Okay. Mm -hmm. I ain't never paid for mine, no thanks to Mr. Blank. Do you have somebody to take you home? You drove yourself, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Well, we'll take care of that later, okay? Thank you. <laughs> Allison. Hmm? I could lose my job for asking you this, but are you sure about what you're doing? No. Sylvia? Allison, I have loved you since before your days began. I've loved you with a love that is everlasting, with faithfulness and desire for your goodness beyond your furthest dreams. I have a future and a plan for you, Allison. It would melt your heart to know even the tiniest measure of care and wonder that lie before you within the embrace of my hope. And I will never leave you, Allison. As so many have, I will never abandon or turn you away. And I love you, Allison. I love you. I love you. I love you. Glow, come to the back, please. Excuse me, miss. Hmm? May I? Oh, yeah, sorry. No, no, just. Oh. <laughs> Right, sorry, I'm, I'm a little new at this. Yeah, I know. Yeah, <laughs> that girl over there, she's a first-timer glow. I guess I just have a stamp on my head, right? No, it's not that. Well, I'm a last-timer too, I guarantee it. I would think that's a good thing. Oh, wow, huh. that was pretty stupid what I just said, huh? Yeah, I'm so sorry, how embarrassing. <laughs> I'm not usually this weird, I'm just, I mean, all I had to do was lift up my feet, but no, not Allison, you know, she's gotta turn this whole major thing. Oh. Oh my God. Let me get that. Is it okay? Can, can you fix it? It doesn't look so bad. I'm expecting a very, very important call. The boyfriend. I can see you're not a first timer. I bet you fix lots of phones in here. And a few other things. Oh God, please call. Please be okay. Oh no, he, no, 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 he's not like that. Uh, his name's Rick. I'm Allison actually, and he's Rick. Um, you know, he's actually pretty concerned about this whole thing, so... You hear that a lot, don't you? Well, um... You, you know, he's he, he's different. Sure, he has his ways, but, but he'll call. He'll see. Here you go. Okay. Moment of truth, right? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't offend you, did I? No, I hear it all the time. Oh, God. Um, is it okay if I go outside? I'm just, you can do better without me sitting here, you know? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay. Nobody home, leave a message. Uh, hi, um, I guess you're still sleeping. That's good. Uh, you need your sleep, I'm, I'm glad. Uh, I'm here and, and everything's okay. Um, I, <laughs> I just need to be worried and all, so. And I, I miss you. Um, 
Okay, well, I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you soon. Uh, later, I <laughs> should be done soon is, is what I mean. And, um, and you can call if you want. I, I mean, um, if it's okay, if they said it's okay. Um, okay. So I'll, um, I'll talk to you soon. Okay. Yeah, okay. Is sleeping. At least I hope he's sleeping. Yeah, it's not nice. But you know, you could end up with that guy. It's not a good thing. Better you find out now. A lovely young woman like yourself deserves a guy who will treat her like a lovely young woman like yourself. But this wreck has already done enough harm, don't you think? You've worked here a long time, haven't you? Since 1973. Wow. I wasn't even born yet. It's a long time. I don't even think my mom was born yet. A very long time. Yeah, I always wished I had a father who talked to me like you did just now. No dad is perfect, that's for sure. How did I end up in this place? I mean, it's not like I'm a bad person. I'm just trying to be happy like everyone else. I'm sorry, I don't even know you. You've probably met a million girls just like me. And then some. Every one of them special, every one of them precious. And every one of them facing the exact same question. What do I do now? So if I have a choice. Oh, wow. Tell me I didn't just say that. I wish I could. But you know what I mean? I, I don't have a choice. Like, what else can I do? How about have a baby? <laughs> That's crazy. I can barely take care of myself. I mean, I, I want to have kids. It's, it's not like I'm against it. It's just, it's not the right time, I guess. And especially with Rick. That's his name, Rick. I already told you that. If we were going good, maybe, but... He just keeps telling me to do this. That everything will be good again if I just do this. Might you be Allison? Oh, sweetie. Here, there's some tissues. Never fear, Marta's here. My name is Marta, M-A-R-T-A. -A. I'm a counselor. Yeah, the receptionist, a Gloria, she called me about you. She said you're not so sure about that all this today. I thought I was, but I don't know anymore. I've been there myself, girl. Ooh, God, it's so cold here. But it's private though, you know? You get to talk woman to woman. So what can I help you with, Allison? Can I answer any questions for you? No, I know it all. I just, I just need to buck up and do it. It's what my father always told me, you know? Stop your whimpering, Allison, and just get on with it. No, you don't have to get on with it. Nobody's forcing you. But a young girl like you, you have your whole life ahead of you. As a matter of fact, I was in your shoes once. That's what makes me so qualified for this job. And I love my job. I was about your age, and I never thought I'd get preggers. And my boyfriend wasn't taking responsibility. Is his name Rick, too? No, but sometimes they're all the same, aren't they? I hope not, otherwise I'm in big trouble. So wait, you did this? It's the best thing I ever did. And then I married the most wonderful man also not named Rick. Mm -hmm. And we had another child. Wait, I mean, a child. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Oh, and oh, there he is. I mean, he's all grown up now, but I like to keep him a little boy. It's a mom thing. Mm -hmm. And obviously, I love my job because I get to help girls like you find their way. I always thought if you did this, your plumbing got too screwed up to have another kid. No. Ah. 
That's pro-life propaganda. Well, I mean, sometimes it does happen. I mean, there are risks, but there are risks to carrying a pregnancy to term two. I just want it to go away. But that's what we do, Allison. That's the magic. It just, poof, goes away. Mm -hmm. I never had another one? No. It's kind of sad being an only kid. I gotta dash off now. Um, <clears throat> oh my goodness, there's this girl that I have to meet at my office. She's waiting for me. A terrible case. She says the father is her father. Can you imagine? Okay, so here's the, here's my card. You call me when you need me. Cell number is right there. And remember, Allison, Allison needs to think about Allison. You're such exotic guys. You wouldn't have a little Asian in you, would you? Huh? Not appropriate. Never mind. Okay, I gotta go. Dashing. See ya. Okay, my phone does not stop. It's blowing up. There's something that M-A-R-T-A didn't tell you, Allison. Your baby. She's a little girl. Who are you? I mean, who do you think you are to say a thing like that? I don't even know you. What? You... Wait a minute. She didn't... See me. How could she not? Who are you? Well, I'm not a ghost. I'm certainly no angel. I'm definitely not. Kind of leaves only one option. Oh, God. You got to be more careful with that, Allison. You say, oh, God, and oh, God is what you're going to get. OK. OK, you just stay away from me. Stay right there. Stay. Hi. Hi, uh, Miss Glow. Yeah. Hi, yeah, it's Allison. Um, I talked to you earlier. I'm, I'm the girl who left it blank. Uh, yeah, could you please buzz me in? Of course. Please. You just stay away from me. I didn't get your name before. You didn't ask before. Yeah, I, I know. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just a little new at this. <laughs> first timer. See, I knew it. You ought to make sure you're a last timer, too. Yeah, I was actually just thinking about that before. Um, I'm sorry. I just. Sorry. It's me who should be sorry for coming back to this rat hole. Sure glad my mom ain't around to see this. Some people just never smell the coffee. I like coffee. Yeah, me too. But you're a pretty young girl. Don't be coming back. Take a lesson from Lucretia. That's my name, Lucretia. My name's Allison. Al. Allie. My grandmother used to call me Allie. Ooh, my grandmother, she beat my butt. She see me in a place like this. Uh, Lucretia? Mm-hmm. Do you know that maintenance man over there? Not that you would. It's just you seem to know people around here, so. Maintenance man. I ain't never met no maintenance man, although my mama tell me my daddy was a maintenance man, among other things, if you know what I'm talking about. So you don't know him? Girl, is you high? What you been smoking? Heather? That's me. Thank you. Nasty old witch. You didn't even look at me and see if my name was Heather. Ain't no reason why my name can't be Heather. I'm sorry, Miss Glow? Lucretia troubling you? Uh, no, no, not at all. She's actually very lovely. Um, Did you get to talk to Marta? Uh, yes. Do you have any questions? And no. Um, but uh, that man over there, uh, the, the janitor, I hate to use that word, but you know what I mean? Um, can you ask? Like, he just keeps on staring at me, so. 
That janitor there. Yes. Yes. <laughs> this is such a relief. <laughs> Lucretia didn't even know what I was talking about. I mean, it was like she couldn't see him. I mean, how can you not see him? He's standing right there. <gasps> oh my gosh. I'm so relieved. Oh, Miss Glow to the rescue. I bet that's a motto around here. You can always count on Miss Glow. <laughs> Honey, I, I just get paid to keep things moving here, but I'm not made out of stone. This is very stressful for a girl like you, and, and stress you can do some funny things. It can make you see janitors that aren't there. Now, what I asked you earlier, if you're sure, and that is not something that I ask every girl. Ma'am, your janitor is upsetting me, and I would think that someone in your very delicate position would... Allison, honey, there is no janitor. He doesn't come in until 9, and I've never seen him once come in early. I'm sorry, Allison. There's no janitor. Of course. <laughs> Believe me, <laughs> I'm seeing janitors that aren't there. I must be so freaked out about this whole thing that I'm seeing a janitor of all things, right? <laughs> I know I'm pretty weird, but uh, uh, my boyfriend said he was going to call, so uh, yeah. Well, you you think about what I asked you. There's still time. I am. I, I mean, I, I will. Um, thank you, Miss Glow. Thank you for you. Um, I love the way you have it decorated in here. It's it's very nice. It makes a girl feel like home. So uh, I'm, I'm going to go sit down. Mm -hmm. Who are you? You know who I am. Oh, God. Oh, God, Jesus. The word was with God, and the word was God. Any of that ring a bell? Sunday school. And you thought it was a waste of time. Funny, but you don't look how you're supposed to look. Tell me something I didn't hear 2,000 years ago. What's that supposed to mean? Shouldn't have skipped that Sunday. But if you're not impressed, I could, uh, how about something more ancient of days-ish? Or maybe Renaissance painting? OK, no more, please. Janitor looks suddenly working for you? Yeah. Yes. Why can't they see you? I'm not here physically. I'm my spirit. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Ever heard of that? Wendy May Fong? Yes. Am I saying that right? Thank you very much. Are you OK? My babies. They're killing my babies. I don't understand. Thousands. Thousands and thousands of my babies. Don't call them babies. They're not babies. What about these girls? What about me? OK, we need help. We're just trying to live our lives. What, we're supposed to just drop everything and become a mommy? Is that it? Why don't you stop it? You're Mr. Oh God, I'm so powerful. Well, why don't you do something if it's so awful? What about the other stuff? People are killing each other all around the world, but no. What about that, huh? And the polar ice caps are melting too. But no, you're in here all upset because girls are just trying to live their lives. You're just. Wrong. Hi, Miss Glow. Um, is it okay if I get some fresh air? Uh, just go outside for a minute. I know I was just out there, but um. No, that's fine. Okay, perfect. And um, how much longer is this gonna take? Because I really, really want to get this over and done with. Oh, girl, that's what I'm talking about. I love a woman that takes charge. Assuming we stay on schedule, ten forty-five. Good. That's really good. I'm I'm super glad. Um, good. I'll just be. Oh, uh, do you want my money now? I actually have it here with me, so. Girl, I told you you ain't gotta pay. Not yet. I'll let you know when. Okay. Thank you. I I just want to get this over with. You've thought about it. No. Uh, yes. Yes. I mean yes. Um. 
Yeah, I was thinking about it while I was over, uh, over there. Um, thank you. I just want this over with. I understand. Thank you so much, Miss Glow. You know, you're the perfect kind of person to be working in a place like this. Y you know what I mean. <laughs> go on, girl, buttering up Miss Glow. I see you. Allison, you go get some fresh air. You care for a fake cigarette? Uh, oh, um, I, I don't smoke. Neither do I. It's fun to pretend sometimes. I don't know about you, but I seem to pretend a lot these days. There you go. They say it's just water vapor. See? Hey, you got it. Keep pretending. <laughs> Why are you here? Oh, I already have two kids. Enjoy them. Look, this is Anna, mm -hmm. and this is Harvey. My husband insisted that we name him after his grandfather, so it's this cute little two-year-old with an 80-year-old name. Do they know? No. Nobody knows. Mommy's taking a mommy day at the spa today. Not even your husband? Especially my husband. It's the last thing he needs on his plate right now. So you guys didn't even talk about it? I tried to, a couple of times, but don't get me wrong. He's a good husband. It's just, this isn't the right time is all. I do think about Anna and Harvey little brother that they'll never know. I just have this mom feeling it's a boy. Not even when they're older. <laughs> How about that cigaretto, huh? <laughs> it's fun to pretend, isn't it? Rita, we're ready for you. Especially now. What if something goes wrong in there? I mean, then they'll know. Something could go wrong. Well, that's just a risk we're both willing to take, now isn't it? I'll tell you what. Um, Allison. Um, my friends call me Al. Allie. Rita, nice to meet you. So I'll tell you what, Allie. You pray for me and I'll pray for you. Why can't they see you? I told you I'm my spirit. Why me? Because I love you, Alice. And I love your little girl, too. And I have great hope for both of you. I willed her to live before the beginning of time. Same as you. And I willed her for life, Allison. Not to die today in this place, certainly not by her own mother. I know you think it's not the right time for you, Allison. I know you think this interferes with the way you wanted your life to happen, but Allison, she lives. And just because that's not right for you right now, it, it doesn't make it not true. She lives inside you. Even now, she has a, a tiny little heart, smaller than a speck, and it beats, pumping life to her tiny little limbs, growing a million cells a second into eyes and nose and feet and hands. Right now, even as I speak, I'm, I'm literally hand-forming her inside you, building her little life and growing her to that day when, 
when she can breathe that very first time without her mommy's help, that the very first day when she opens her eyes and she sees her mommy smile. Allison, your little girl just wants to see your smile. Her little mind can't comprehend it, but, but I've already built that desire into her. She just wants to, to feel the warmth of her mommy's arms around her, the same as right now she's tucked into the, the safety of her mommy's tummy. Allison, your little girl just wants you. I know you just want her to go away, but she just wants you. You sure she's a girl? I should know. What about them and their little girls? What about Rita? She's already a mother, so why don't you try and stop her? I'm trying with them, too, same as I'm trying with you. Go ahead and look. I'll open your eyes and you can see. The battle is in the will, Allison. I want what I want, no matter the consequences, no matter the harm. It's easy for me to split the Red Sea, to raise Lazarus from the dead, but the human will. So what are we going to do? The question is, what are you going to do, Alice? It's your choice. She's your little girl. And I gave her to you to surround with all the care and love and protection and joy and wonder a little girl can handle. I gave her to you and you alone because I trust you. I trust you with your little girl, who is my little girl, just like you're my little girl, too. You're a mother, Alice. The decision is literally yours. Whether today she lives or she dies. Would you like to meet her? I, I don't understand. Your little girl. Would you like to meet her? just that it's so cold out. I know, I got my board last night. I'm hoping for snow. Oh, um, you got a new board? Yeah, yeah, I got it in just before they closed. I thought you said Minnie was tight. You should see this baby. She is so beautiful. Yeah, but I... I gotta do my thing. Why are you trying to take that away from me? I'm not taking anything away from you. Then what's your problem? Man, oh, you suck the fun out of everything. I'm sorry. Tell me about your board. Excited and all, you make me feel like dirt. I said I was sorry. Can we move on? Whatever. So, are you coming? Yeah, I, uh, I think it's better if I just lay low out. You sound all on edge and everything. You don't realize how you are when you're like that, but why, uh, why don't I text you when you're done and I'll spring for a pizza? They'll let you eat when you're done, won't they? There, Al? Can you hear me? Oh, I think I lost her, Captain. Aloysius. Paging Aloysius. I love it when you call me Aloysius. <laughs> That's because you wish you were a dude. 
I do not. Don't say that. It's a dude's name, and you love it, so. Maybe you wish I was a dude. I want to be a dude. I want to be a dude. Stop. I'll stop when you tell me you love me. Dude, 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 dude. Okay, I love you. Okay, now you say it to me. Say what? Sudden all smiles. Oh, um, it's my boyfriend. He's sending me funny pictures. <laughs> yeah, see. <laughs> funny man is boyfriend of yours. Oh, you have no idea. <laughs> Seems to me a man ought to just say I love you. Oh no, it's like his love language. <laughs> you ought to be speaking the English language. Haven't you ever heard of love languages? It's like different people have different ways of saying I love you like my daddy for example He never used to say I love you or I'm proud of you It just wasn't his love language and it used to kill me until I realized it just wasn't his love language Well, my daddy he speak the nowhere to be found language. No, this is serious. See Even though he didn't say I love you He did other things like you know buy me nice dresses and the whole time I'm thinking, oh, my daddy doesn't love me, and he's wondering why I'm upset. It's like we just weren't understanding each other's love languages. Things I miss not going to college. <laughs> see, it's the same with Rick. That's my boyfriend's name, Rick. Uh, see, he doesn't buy me things. Actually, I'm the one who does most of the buying, but uh, he does other stuff, like, you know, making me laugh. So that's his way of saying I love you. That's his love language. Well, is he gonna bring his funny behind down here so you don't have to do this all by yourself? Or he don't speak that language either? Well, where's your boyfriend? I ain't never claimed to have no boyfriend. Ain't nobody sending me funny pictures. It's his love language. All I see is a pretty girl all by her lonesome. Mm. You again. Me and Lucretia. What does she know and who is she to give me advice? Yeah, she's, uh, she's made her share of mistakes, that's for sure. Well, why don't you try and save her, baby? I am already. Oh, right, yeah. Let me open your eyes, Allison. You really love him, don't you, Al? You don't want to lose him. I don't want to discuss this with you. I know. If I may, you could have saved yourself a lot of trouble if you had. What do you know about trouble? You just sit up there where everything's so great and you get to watch down on all our starving children and wars and AIDS. No, no, and we can't have any fun. No, we have to go to G-rated movies, otherwise we go to hell or something, right? Yes, I love him. And nothing is gonna take that away from me. Not even your little girl? Especially that. He's hanging her over your head, isn't he, Al? I can't handle a baby right now. You too, Al. If you have this baby, it'll tear us apart. What am I supposed to do? Go by a minivan? Oh, this isn't happening. Tell me this isn't happening. You just got to take care of it. You got to go someplace and take care of it. A lot of girls do it. It's Shake's girl. Did it. Hey, yo, Shake! Don't. Yeah. What's up, man? Nothing. Yeah. Shake's man. Yeah. It's not a big deal. You just gotta go someplace. And take care of it. It's not like it's a real kid or anything. How am I gonna pay for it? I don't know. We'll figure out how much it is and split it. I don't know. How am I supposed to know? You were there too, right? Yeah, I, okay, now you're going way out. Like this is all my fault. Just forget it, Rick. Right? 
If you have this baby, it'll tear us apart. Look, it's already tearing us apart. I got it. Do something. How oh, could you just do nothing and let him say those things? Um, Miss Clow, is there a place I can go and just be alone? I mean, I know I can go outside, but. Um... Come with me. She's a precious woman, Rick. Go after her. She's carrying your baby. Be a man! I tried, Allison. Just like I'm here with you now, trying so hard to save your little girl's life. To save your life. Because I promise you, Allison, if you do this thing that you set your mind to do, you'll pay a terrible price. Just like your little girl will pay a terrible price. Every day for the rest of your life. Did you know when she'll be in her return of absence? She's had a lot of fun. I love you, Allison. If you had even the slightest idea of how deeply I love you. <laughs> Who says I'm still gonna do it? Maybe I'll change my mind. Maybe I could raise her. Yeah, I could do that. I could get a better job. Make that about Rick. Yeah, who needs a guy like that? If I just had a better job, I just don't know what to do. You were just dreaming. You were screaming in your sleep. I um, I have to get out of here. I, I I don't I don't want this anymore. What's going on in here? What are they doing in here? She wanted to be alone, so I just thought if I brought. Are her you out here, of your mind? I I I need to go. I need to get my things in, and I need to go. She fell asleep. She was just dreaming. Dream on, girl. Back to the waiting room for you, young lady. 
Nasty old witch. Acretia. You must be Allison. My name is Dee Allison. I, I have to go. See if Sheen has a moment. Feeling better? You're feeling better already, aren't you? Good. I'm glad. Can you stand? Think you can stand? Come on. Up you go. Ooh. Good. You're not dizzy, are you? You know, Gloria's told me a lot about you, Allison. Um, Al, you can call me Allie. Why don't you and I take a little walk, Allie? I'd like to introduce you to Dr. Sheen, if that's okay. Is he the doctor doctor? He's the doctor doctor doctor. And you're gonna love him. In fact, he has a daughter about your age. So you two have a lot to talk about. So tell me a little bit about yourself. How old are you exactly? I hear you. And where are you from? Uh, I'm from Maryland, Jenny. Mm -hmm. But I think it's her who needs the help. And have you always lived here? It's okay. It's okay. Relax. Let's go this way. Come on. Please be advised. The team from the county has just arrived. Come right in here. Um, just have a seat. Dr. Sheen will be with you in a moment. Is there anything I can do before I leave? Um, I don't want you to have anything to eat or drink, but anything at all that I can do to make you more comfortable? You're very kind. Thank you. Thank you. That's very important to me. You know, I was a girl like you once, Allison, so I understand being a bit confused. You must know Marta. Marta? M-A-R-T-A. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not following. Uh, what do you mean, a girl like me? Young, younger. My whole life ahead of me, this ugly little problem in the way. In love. You're in love, aren't you? The wrong guy. Well, there you have it. So what happened? You know, Ali, this isn't just a job to me. This is a mission. I help girls like you, like me, to become masters of their universe, to control their own lives and bodies, their own destinies, and to never have their lives reduced to some man's needs or some whining child who will frankly one day bleed you dry and then leave you like everyone else. At the end of this month, I celebrate my 5,000th termination and I could not be more proud of all the women I've helped. I go home to my condo every night and I do what I want to do and watch what I want to watch on television and never have to sit through NFL with some slob eating buffalo wings or Thomas the Tank Engine with a little diaper boy. I do what I want when I want. Except for my three kitties, Frank, Fluffy, and Tubbs. I admit, my kitties are my life. <laughs> Especially Tubby, he's my favorite. But shh, don't tell. I had a cat once. I taught it to poop in the toilet. The point is, Allison, you are your own master. And nothing would please me more than to one day have you say, thank you, Dee. I know what you mean. You see this? It's stunning, isn't it? I bought this for myself in the Caribbean when I took myself on vacation. No man strings, no little wah-wah spilling juice on me, nothing. Now that's the stuff dreams are made of, Allie. Next time you have a dream, dream of that. Zimbabwe. I go every year. Gotta get back, you know. Oh, please, please, have a seat. As you can see, uh, I brought the family one year. Oh, boy, was that a mistake. Allison. Al, um, Ali. I, I like Ali a lot. Ali a lot it is. I hope you don't mind, but I haven't had a chance to breathe, let alone eat. So is it okay if I whip something up while we talk? No, it's, it's okay. I'm sorry I can't offer you anything for obvious reasons. 
No, really, it's it's okay. All right, what's on the menu for today? My wife and I, we've been juicing a lot lately. What about you? You juice? Jamba juice. Are you uh, vegan? No, Allison. No, I... <laughs> That's good. You got me good there. I'm sorry, I... No, no, no. I like spunking a girl. Two points, Miss Allison. Allie a lot. <laughs> I have no problem with meat. I like meat. Um, chicken is my favorite. <laughs> so, Allison, what can I do you for? Well, I'm, I'm starting to think this isn't such a great idea. What would make you uh, think that? Well, I, I've just been thinking and... I had this dream where I was, like, with my baby. Ooh, that dream. Hmm. A lot of my patients have that dream. Well, I mean, I was thinking maybe it's, like, you know, God trying to tell me something. It's not a good idea to bring God into anything like this, guaranteed to mess with your mind. But let me ask you one question. What would make Allison have the brightest future? Well, I mean, that's just the thing. I could be blowing my future. I mean... Who knows what tomorrow holds, but today, I mean, today I have this beautiful little baby and... Whoa, girly. Now let's just stop right there. I want to get one thing 100% correct in Allison's brain machinery. I'm a doctor. I deal in science. What you can prove and what you can. And right now, there is nothing but a very unattractive clump of tissue inside you, okay? Okay, but, um... No, but. Well, I know, but... But what, Allison? So, I, I know you're a doctor and all, but how do you know? Know what? Well, that it isn't alive. I mean, it's growing inside me, right? That's why you have to act now. Yeah, but that's just the thing, Doc. I mean, dead things don't grow. Allison, didn't the counselors explain all of this to you? Well, I, I just want to make sure. I mean, is there any chance that you're wrong? Can it live on its own? No. It can't anything on its own. Separated from you, it would very quickly die. Yeah, but... Wait. Wait, what did you just say? My point is, is that it cannot survive on its own. Yeah, but I mean, you could say the same thing about my grandma. I mean... We have to feed her and look after her, and she has, like, this tube that goes up her nose to help her breathe. I mean, she still won't quit smoking. <laughs> Allison, your, your concerns are very sweet. But again, I assure you that there is nothing alive inside of you right now. In a few months, yes. But right now, no. How can it just, out of the blue, be a baby? I mean, how come now it's... It's just like this blob. But then later, it, it's like a real person. I mean, how come it's okay to do it before because it's like nothing? But then if I wait and I do it, it's like, no, you can't do it because you're killing someone. Honey, if you want to change your mind, you go right ahead. It's your choice to use the customary verbiage. Just tell Glow on your way out and good luck to you. And the truth is, you're right. Now, this is strictly off the record, but no one knows 100% for sure. And all of the research in the world cannot guarantee you the way you want me to. But even if it is alive, what are you, Allison, going to do with a baby? I meet thousands of girls just like you thousands. So tell me, please, what are you going to do with a baby? Dr. Sheen, room one, please. Well, you have to excuse me, and uh, if you don't mind uh, just letting yourself out and tell Glow what you want to do, and all the best to you. You're a good girl.
sometimes church bells on a Sunday, someone like Cyrus. No sirens are coming after me. Physically, yeah. And every other way, too, I'll make it all good again. Just nowhere close to what it could have been. She'll lose her family. And the kids, Anna and Harvey, it's... It's going to be very hard on them. I tried, Allison, but... She threw it all away. Cruel. No, Allison. I'm not cruel. This world can sometimes be cruel. People can often be very cruel. Mothers doing this to their babies and governments that say that's okay and, and doctors making millions off of it. Now that's very cruel. What was inside that stainless steel tray that you were very right to not look into, because if you had, it would have, it would have scarred your mind to the end of your days. Allison, that's very cruel. Forgive me, Allison, for flatly contradicting you, but you and billions like you, generation after generation, have it so tragically backwards. I'm not the one who's cruel, Alice. No, the price you pay because of it. Do you want to see cruel, Alice? What is that? It's your salvation. It's your freedom from guilt and shame and sin and horror and all the cruel that flows out of it. I didn't ask you to do that. Yes, you did, Alice. Every time you vowed to get your life together and couldn't quite handle it, every time you said, I'll never do that again, and you went right back to it, every time you cried yourself to sleep at night because your heart hurt so bad and you couldn't figure out why, and no matter what you tried, it wouldn't go away. That's just normal for people. I know, and nothing breaks my heart more. Allison, you spent half your life trying to get your dad to say I love you and the, and the second half trying to find it someplace else. If that's normal, who wants it? Why didn't you do something? I, I tried. The same as I'm here trying with you and believe me, Allison, when I tell you that deep down inside your daddy, he, he wanted so badly to, to love you like you needed to be loved. Even today, you can see it in your eyes every time he looks at you, that, that you just want him to say the words. Well, can't you just force him? I, just, just once. If I could just hear it one time, then everything would be okay. No, I, I can't. I, I mean, I can, but I can't. The same as I can't force you to, to jump in your car and take your baby as far away from this place as possible. And just embrace being a mom and dance for joy and all the wonder of having this precious little privilege alive inside you. I gave you my life, Allison. When my wrists were open like this, the, the way was open before you to, to grab hold of life, eternal life, fullness of life, goodness in life, your baby's life. It, it lies before you, life, 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 free for the taking. But behind this wall, Allison, I promise you, there's not life. There's just what was in that stainless steel tray, and, and that is not life, Allison. That's as far from life as not life can get. I want to see it. 
know Alice and you don't. Yes, I do. I want to see it. You got to believe me. You need to trust me on this. Show me. I set before you the path of life or death. Choose life so that you and your children and your children's children may live. Excuse me. Dang, girl, you all right? Krisha's boyfriend is Sean. You mean me like, call you a doctor or something? He's a good man. We've been having some good conversations. I mean, cause like tales from the crypt. The show ain't gonna find one of him. Uh, no, I'm, I'm fine, thank you. All right, do you. You think you'd be a better dancer? Yeah, I'm just holding back. This be your problem right here. Might as well be smoking your cell phone, girl. Water vapor money. You, you know what I mean, right? I told you he was a good man. So, uh, can I can I get in right here? I'm sorry. My name be Deshaun. Uh, yeah, I know. Oh, oh, so LaCree been bragging about the D-man, huh? That's what I'm talking about. Go no, on. actually, she has. Uh... Yeah, just go right up and press the buzzer and they'll let you in. I'm going for gold, girl. Mind my word about that little funny cigarette thing, too. Let's say the Lord on that one. He be mean and me. Yes? Yeah, uh, my name be Deshaun, and my girl LaCree be somewhere inside this crib. This is a private facility, Mr. Deshaun. Look, woman. I don't care about no private nothing, all right? You got my woman and my baby in there. Now, either they coming out or the D-man coming in. What are you doing here? Get on out of here, boy. Not without you, girl. What are you crazy telling Lucretia all what stuff like you some type of caveman or something? It's about to get real good. Girl, I'm not about to talk to you through no glass like you in a zoo. You better get on out here. No need, Miss Glow. He's a harmless little boy. Boy? Who are you calling a boy? Do I look like a boy to you? You ain't no boy. That's for sure. Why, thank you. Now, Lucretia Brienne Whitley, your man is asking you real polite like to get your you-know-what out here. Now, you coming out or what? Works for me. I couldn't have said it better. Mm. Oh, you're a fine gentleman. Let me see if I can check my schedule. I love that woman. I can tell. Well, what now? You all big and bad, shoving your weight around like you should ignite or something? Lacree, I've been doing some thinking. <laughs> like you be thinking. Lucretia, girl, you don't know the half of it. Last I heard, he was kicking me out. Now he want to come around here talking about I been thinking. Well, you better think again. Lacree, I want you to come home with me. We having a baby, woman. We? Since when is it we? Wasn't so long ago you was telling Lucretia you ain't the daddy of nothing. That ain't my baby, Lucree. Don't look at me. Look at them other guys. And I told you it ain't no other guys. But now it's we. I know. I know, but it's going to be different this time, all right? I'm going to take care of you. I'm going to take care of little D, too. I already told my grandma she's got a room set up for us and everything. Come on. I love you, Lucree. Get D, love. Come on. Get D. D don't deserve no love. You right. You 100% right, baby. But, I mean, can we, like, talk? Just you and me? You gonna really make me do this right here? Oh, girl, this place? Oh, no, I'll, I'll go inside. I'm sorry. No, girl, you stay right where you are. Don't let him run you away, too. 
Well, since you all bad and been thinking, shall we retire to your office? You know, most of the world writes that man off, but not me. You know what he's doing right now? He's saving his baby's life. And he's right. It's a boy. And that name, Little D, I'm sorry to say it, but it's gonna stick. No, oh, no, don't tell me. It's definitely not my top pick, but I'll just let his daddy have that one. Little D, you live today. You step into the future that was six minutes and 18 seconds from being ripped away from you. That was close. What's gonna happen to him? Wonderful things. His life won't be without trouble. No one's is. Why do you do that to people? It's not me, Allison. It's you. And you, and you, and you, and all the I want what I want in the face of what's obviously right. Choice by choice, it just it tears your world apart. And the trouble flows through those tears like, like an open sewer. But I whipped it all, Allison. The day I got these scars with every drop of my blood, I kicked it all to you know where. <laughs> Begging your pardon, ma'am, if you know what I mean. I'll tell you a little something else, Allison. You know the name Jesus? You know what it means? Not too many people do. It means God saves. And guess who God saves? Allison? And her little girl. Okay, 20 questions. Fire away. Okay, um, why do you hate, like, gay people? That's a lie. There's no one I hate. There's no one I don't love. Not even Dr. Sheen, if you can believe it. I cry a billion tears over what he chooses to do with the skills and the education that I gave him, but I hand-formed him in his mother's womb the same as you, the same as your little girl. There's no one I hate, Allison. There's no one I don't love. Oh, okay. Uh, where do I go from there? Oh, I have a good one. Why do you let, like, African children all starve? I don't let children starve. There's enough food to go around. It's you guys who let children starve. Why did you make cancer? I didn't make cancer, Allison. You live in a... a crippled creation, if I can put it that way. You ever heard of the Garden of Eden? No disease, no tears, no fear. The lion laid down with the lamb. That's the way I intended to be. Is that like Adam and Eve eating the apple thing? Yeah. It wasn't really an apple, but yeah. What was that like? The... Mm. I mean, I saw the Passion movie where you... I mean, he, uh... You know what I mean. Like, gets all whipped and bloody and all. Um... Imagine every pain and horror in human history just crashing down on you in a single moment of time. Every murder, every rape, every war, the Holocaust, every baby's life lost on the other side of this wall. The passion movie didn't come close. Hmm. Okay, uh, let's see if we can lighten this up. Uh, what's your favorite movie? To Kill a Mockingbird. Oh, I actually had to watch that for school. Maybe Lilies of the Field. What's your favorite Jesus movie? Ben-Hur, 1959. Chariot Race is the greatest sequence ever put on film. It'll never be beat. I'll have to check that one out. Uh, favorite book? Right. <laughs> that was a stupid question. Uh, favorite song? Jesus loves me, this I know. Favorite, like, moment in history? The day I got these scars. Wow. <laughs> um, OK, 
Okay. Why are you a janitor? I mean, you're a god. Because that's what I do. I clean up my children's messes. Why don't you just, like, zap all the bad people? Because I'd have to start with you. Never once done anything wrong. Never once lied, never cheated, never... Yeah, but, like, I never hurt anyone. Allison, tell me something I haven't heard, like, a kabillion times. Next question. Are you going to let me do this? I can't force you not to, Allison. It's your choice. Is Rick gonna call? Text. He prefers to text. Will he ever ask me to marry him? When he thinks he's going to lose you. But it's only a ploy. The moment he's secure, he'll back off again. What's her name? I can't tell you. That's your choice, too. I mean, I'd have to get a new job, a bigger apartment. Is that a question? Why don't you just tell me what to do? I am. Yeah, but... Looks like we have a winner. What's gonna happen to them? I mean, they're gonna move in with his grandma. How can they... Have a baby? Yeah. Lucretia's a very smart woman, Alice. She's made her share of mistakes. And she knows it. She's done this twice already. She cried herself to sleep many nights, just... Wishing she could have back her dead babies. It's not fair. That's what it is. You need to understand I'm trying to save your baby's life. And I've got less than 30 minutes to do it. I want you to go away. The gloves are off about this, Allison. I love you very much. Nothing can change that or take it away. But make no mistake, I want her to live. I do too. Just not now. I can't do this now. You won't do this now. You're afraid to do this now. Allison, you can be dishonest with yourself, but I'm the living God. I see inside your heart. I hear your every thought. Right now, your mind is completely consumed with Ricky boy. Your entire takeaway from watching Deshaun with Lucretia is, if only Rick. Allison, you have a living baby inside you. And all you can think about is Rick. I'm not ready to be a mom. You already are a mom. I want you to go away. I can't go away. I'm God. But you can turn your back on that. You walk through those doors and you turn your back on it real good. And you turn your back on the future I have for you. And you turn your back on your little girl. And you turn your back on every frame of that wonderful dream I gave you. That was my dream. Okay, you had nothing to do with that. That was your little girl crying out for her mommy to want her and not destroy her. Leave her alone, okay? Leave her out of this. She has nothing to do with this. Hurry up now, I'll be laid right here for you. It's crazy how cold it is out here, huh? I thought you didn't have a boyfriend. Lucretia had to spill her guts to everyone who come around asking her business. I didn't know you from nowhere, girl. But now, since we sisters and all, uh, meet the shy D-man, D-dog himself. Oh, I love that man. Glory. Yeah. Glory. You can't be saying glory like that, like it's just some pitiful word. Girl, we talking about glory as in hallelujah, kingdom come, it's a brand new day and everything gonna be okay. Hmm, we gonna be having church on saint's doorstep. <laughs> From your funny man, I presume? Uh, yeah, he's just texting to say he loves me. <laughs> I thought he didn't speak that love language. Lucretia don't forget nothing. Mm. So, uh, where'd the D-Dog go? 
girl, he went next door to go get his woman a Boingo burger and some sweet potato fries. I was so hungry, I was about to chew my toenails off. And don't think my baby not doing his share of complaining. He taught his mama getting sick because of this stinking place. I tell you, sister, I'm a marching here. Take my baby, give them a piece of my mind, and tell them what they could do with it. Especially that witch-looking woman that keep coming outside talking about, Heather, Wendy May Fall. What kind of name is Wendy May Fall anyway? Like some character in a storybook or something. I ain't never heard nothing like that. This place is crazy. Ooh, you seen all them cats around her neck? Ain't nobody supposed to walk around with cats around their neck instead of people. I'm telling you, girl, that just ain't natural. Mm -hmm. Won't hurt by me. Mm. Is everything okay out there? Yeah. Is that the way out there? Do I need to call security? No, Miss Glow. Hold on, I'm coming out. Girl, Miss Glow gonna be so surprised when she find out. Blow her mind away. <laughs> What's going on with you girls? It's freezing cold out here. And Lucretia, get inside. They're gonna call your name any second. I'm sorry to disappoint you, Miss Glow, but I'm checking out of this Bates Motel. I changed my mind. Sure you did. Now will you get inside? Before I get into trouble again. I'm serious, Miss Glow. Deshaun went next door to give me something to eat. And when he gets back, we gonna take our baby and we gonna raise him to be a man or a woman. No, it's, it's a man. Like I said. Congratulations. And you, Allison? Still figuring it out? Well, in my day, there was no figuring it out. In my day, a girl did her best to keep her drawers on because she knew there was a high price to pay if she took them off. And if she made a mistake, and some of us did, well, let's just say, there are a lot of beautiful sons and daughters alive because of it. Now, will you girls get inside before you catch your death of cold? So is Miss I Love you coming to get you from out of here or what? Because if you need me to call Deshaun, he ain't got a problem bringing him over here. No, it's, it's OK. Hmm. Because we got a way of dealing with things where I'm from. I promise it'll be OK. It'll be OK. It'll be OK. Today, tomorrow, one day, huh? That's the woman's anthem, ain't it? Can I be real honest with you? Us being sisters now and all. Remember when I told you I wasn't seeing the maintenance man? Well, girl, I lied. I seen him. And he tells me the same thing he be telling you. I love you, Lacree. And I love your baby, too. He told me it tore him up to see me do my babies the way I did. Same way it be still tearing me up. I know this seemed like a good thing, but girl, I promise you, it's gonna tear you up. We be their mothers. There's nothing more heartbreaking in this heartbreaking world than mothers doing their own babies wrong. <laughs> you know, Deshaun come around here like he's super fly or something. Truth is, I was walking away anyway. I already got two babies I never know. Maintenance men say they doing well with him and he's taking real good care of them. But we be mothers, girl. We be their mothers. Now you listen to Lucretia and don't be doing like I did. Pay mind to that maintenance man because he's trying to save your baby's life. And he's trying to save yours too. I can't go back, but it ain't too late for you. Girl, Deshaun acting like this? I ain't never imagined my eyes to see. Ain't nobody tell me that maintenance man don't do miracles. Hey. <laughs> you ready, baby? I got you two mega meals. One for you and one for little D. Hey. <laughs> now you keep my sister company. I'll be back in a minute. You, uh, work here? No. Oh, I got you. I won't even ask another question. 
Just keep an eye on you till, till the creek come back. You don't mind, do you? Cause I, I get back in my ride. Oh, no, it's OK. You're OK. Music too loud? I can turn it down if you want me to turn it No, I, um, I like it. All right. That's jamming, girl. Me too. I love it. That's obvious, but, you know, some, some people prefer mellow. Lecree, she prefer mellow. Well, I, I like mellow, too. I, I got mellow. You want me to put some mellow on? No. No, it's OK. You like a burger? It's a boingo. It's OK. I'm fine. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> you a Mickey D girl, huh? Or or BK? I, I can do BK. BK works. The Cree, she difficult. You know what I'm saying? Always gotta be a boingo with the Cree. She love them fries. She be like, I'm I'm not allowed to eat. Oh, yeah. Stupid me. P pretend I said nothing. It's okay. What you doing in there, LaCree? Much longer they're gonna have to deliver that child, girl. Oh, um, she's talking to the cat lady, setting her straight. I don't even wanna know what that means. Not not meaning to pry or nothing, but you re you really gonna go through with this? Maybe you think you has to, but I mean, forgive me if I'm stepping out of bounds here. You don't know me from no one, but you don't have to do nothing. All the, you know, woman got a choice and all. Why does that always mean this and, and not the other? Ain't nobody gonna tell me what to do with my body, but sure it's okay to tell that baby what to do with his body. How come ain't nobody gonna tell me what to do with my body don't apply to him? What about his equal rights? Her. Him, her, same thing. No, it's a her. Good God, hallelujah. I ain't never coming back to this vampire shack. Now get me out of here as fast as these stolen parcels can go. Oh, Allison, been meaning to tell you. Now I'm going to be having me a proper baby shower, and I want you to be there. No matter what you decide to do here, I want you there. You hear me? Burger getting cold, woman. Now you already borderline. So you make sure you call me, OK? You remember, Lucretia loves you. You stick that in your little love language. Bye-bye, boo. See you at my baby shower. You're a brave girl, Allison, and took courage. Now, what about your little girl? I just can't. The clock's run out on her, Allison. They're coming for her now. I need more time. There is no more time. Don't tell me we lost Allison, too. She's outside. I'll get her. I won't force you, Allison. You have to choose, and you have to choose now. They need you, honey. Allison, your little girl, she just wants to live. I can't tell you how badly she wants to live, and, and she wants her mommy to want her and not be afraid of her, just like you with your daddy. Allison, even now, she can feel your whole body tightening around her. She doesn't know what it is. She just knows that something is terribly wrong. And Allison, she just wants to live. Allison, your little girl wants her mommy to want her to live. I love you so much, Allison. 
I love you more than you can imagine. And I love your little girl too. I came here to save her and to save you too. I can't force you. I can only beg you like I've been begging you all morning. And I can't hold them off, Allison. You have to decide now. Can you show me her? Like you did before. You've already seen her. Please, please just one more time. Come honey, we have to go please. now. Excuse me, miss. May I? She said it's me to stay so for a better decision. Mr. Lens to her me, mom. They are in the tea shop. Yes, she just loves me. Yes, she just loves me. Yes, she just loves me. The Bible tells me so. Mommy, she just loves me. Mommy knows, my darling. Mommy knows. I was born for you. You were born for me. Come on, take my hand. Let's spit the disease. Oh, you've got a shoulder with my name.
shall we do? What shall we do?